Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you guys my Kringle Candle haul. And if you're not familiar with Kringle Candle, I'll link the website down below. And they had a promotion going on. The CEO of the company had offered our candle group, Candle Dancer, Normal from Candle Dancer. If you don't know her, I'll link her channel down below. It's like the best face group, candle group ever. But um, the CEO offered everybody in the group a 40% off discount for the website. And it was like maybe a four day promotion. So everybody and their mom jumped on the bad wagon and we all ordered from Kringle Candle. Why can't I say that fast? So anyway, the main thing that I did get, I did get two candles. And these candles are big as hell. Like I see them in videos and they don't look as big as they are. Like they're huge and they're so pretty. They just look really fancy and pricey and expensive even though they were 40% off. Sheesh. This smells so good. This is blue spruce. And this smells just like Christmas trees. It doesn't smell that different to me than balsam. But maybe when you burn it you smell a little different. And all of these candles are 22 ounces that I got. They have smaller ones. Um, but I feel like the bigger two, the two wick tumblers, the largest was the best price. And um, will you get the most for your money? And this is 22 ounces and it has 100 hours of burn time. And the description, they all have descriptions on top and they have these pretty lids. They're just so nice and fancy looking. I love them. And it just says blue spruce, fresh pine needles, Siberian pine, wood, and Douglas fir. So if you like Christmas trees smell, you'll love this. Like fresh balsam from Bath and Body, it smells a little similar to this. So that was the first two wick tumbler I got in the large jar. And I also got Stormfront. See how pretty that is? Look at that label. This one, it smells a little cologne -y, but it smells fresh at the same time. And this is a really nice smell. I couldn't decide what to get because I had ordered some melts first. I'll show you those. So out of those melts, those were the two favorites that I had. I definitely want to order some more next time they have a sale. But those were my two um, large candles that I purchased. And then I got a lot of these uh, waxes. And they were 10 for 20, 10 for 25, and then the 40% off of that. And these were packed nicely. They had peanuts in there. I'm not a fan of packing peanuts, but my boyfriend actually uses them, so I'll give them to him. So let me just show you guys what I got. The espresso crema. This one smells just like coffee. It smells like a strong coffee smell, like with a little bit of sugar and milk and everything in it. I was trying to compare it to the um, Italy Bath and Body Candle. But this smells more like a dark coffee, like an espresso, like with no cream and sugar. And it smells like a little chocolatey with it. And this one smells just like the picture has like the sugar and the milk and everything mixed in. This smells like it'll be a strong one. I did burn a few of them already, so once when I go through some of them, I'll show you and tell you what I thought about some of them. I got the ginger root. This smells just like ginger. Vanilla cone. This is the one that has all the hype. This one I already used. This one smells really good, and I can see why everybody gets crazy about it. It does smell like an ice cream cone, like a um, waffle cone ice cream. Ice cream waffle cone, like in the shop, like a fresh hot cone when you burn it. When you smell it on cold sniff, it doesn't it doesn't smell like that. But when you burn it, it does change a lot. But one thing I can say is it doesn't, like I use the old school burners with the tea light. And once I put the one tea light under, the next one, it was like really light. So it only lasted about four hours. And it didn't travel that far. Like some of my other walls, like Goose Creek and even um, the Sensationals and Better Homes and Gardens from uh, Walmart, they travel through the house. This one didn't. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed it, and I would like to try the big candle, but it didn't last that long. And for the price to be $3, I was expecting it to be a little stronger. And they're actually small, too, so let me show you compared to, this is compared to a Yankee tart. And let me get another wax for you. This is like another, this is Village Candle, but I'm just showing you the size differential. And this is a Goose Creek compared like, I didn't see anybody talk about how small they were, but whatever. I liked it. I just wish it was a little stronger. Then I got rosemary lemon. This is a nice fresh one for the kitchen. Basil. Another one. I got a lot of these here. I got in this container I want to put in the kitchen. Baker's vanilla. 
holiday cookie. Sparkling, that's just like a limey smell. Fresh baked bread. This one kind of reminded me of the um the butter baked the butter was it butter bread? Ugh, can't speak today. The one from Village Candle, the buttered bread. I haven't burned that one yet either, but I'm dying to. Citrus and sage. I did try this one, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. It is a nice fresh smell for the kitchen, but it depends. I guess it depends on what you're into, but I don't know how I feel about it. White pumpkin. That one smells pretty good. I haven't burned that one yet. Pink grapefruit. I'm excited to burn that one. And that was it for this little container. So let me show you the next one. Coconut pineapple. That just basically smells like pina colada. Stormfront. Got the candle of that because I love the way this smells. I'm cold to nip. Midnight. This one I'm not crazy about. It kind of reminds me of um, Summer's Night. Midsummer's Night from uh, Yankee. I love cologne smells and I love a sexy man smell, but I don't like a grandpa, old spice, older man's cologne. And that's what this smells like to me. It just smells like an older man. I like a sexy man smell, a younger guy, not an old man. No offense to anybody. Aqua. This is a nice fresh smell. Tranquil Waters. This is a nice fresh smell too. I haven't really burned a lot of these, so I can't really get into detail about them, but... Secrets. I did try this one. It smells exactly like mahogany teakwood. I had this going, one cube of this, and then I had mahogany teakwood by Bath and Body, and it was way too much. I had to put the candle out. I just had this going, and it was nice. So if you have both of them, don't do it. I got Spellbound, which is exactly like a love spell from Victoria's Secret. Exactly like it. And then it got more. I actually had 30. Slate. I thought I ordered all of the uh, waxes, but for some reason this was the daylight. And I heard these are really strong, so I didn't mean to order, but I'm happy I did. And this smells really good. And I remember reading the story that um, the CEO had said about this, that it was his favorite because it reminded him of a experience with he not experience, a trip with his dad and how it brought him back to like the smell. So that was nice. And that was Slate. That one smells good. Gray from Fifty Shades of Gray. This one smells really good. It does smell cologne but it kind of smells like fluffy towels a little bit. For, no, from Soft Blanket, is it? It kind of smells like Soft Blanket and a little bit of cologne, like a really fresh scent. So I really like that one. I thought it would have been too manly, but it smells pretty good. Snowcap Frasier. That's another Christmassy tree smell. Balsam Fir. Christmas tree smell. Blue Spruce. These ones actually smell pretty identical to me. Hopefully they smell different when you burn them, but on cold sniff they smell exactly the same. Christmas. Another Christmas tree scent. This one smells a little like outside in the cold while you're smelling your Christmas tree. That one smells really good. I like anything that smells like Christmas trees. White woods. This one smells like Christmas trees too, but it smells like a little woodsy. It's really nice. Rainy day, just a clean, fresh smell. Covered bridge, I really like that one. Cozy cabin. A lot of people I've heard compare this to um, Marshmallow Fireside. And I don't really get that. It smells like a cabin. Like you smell the cabin and you smell the wood. Like it does smell a little bit of a fireside. Like you smell like a fire, but you smell more woodsy. And it's a little sweet. I really like this one. But I don't think you compare it to Marshmallow Fireside. It's like more of a burny smell. Like I got like a smoky smell to it. I really like it though. Autumn Rain. This is a nice fresh smell. I feel like I'm saying that about all of them. Because some of them, they're kind of fresh. I'm a little cologne but not as much as you would think. Coconut Wood. This smells really good. And I remember hearing um, the review on, on, uh, on the website saying that it was a more of a focus on the actual shell of the coconut instead of that coconut smell. And that's exactly what you get. This is a really nice smell. Oh, I think that's it. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Even though you probably watched a ton of these videos already. But I'm really enjoying these. I do wish some of the waxes were a little stronger. But I'm excited to burn the actual candle and see how they perform. And yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you guys um, have any thoughts of any of the waxes I have or any of the candles, comment down below.
and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.